Hey guys, um, it's Jaguar MC here, and I just want to leave a quick note before the video um, that I know a lot of you um, think I'm getting a PS4 soon. Um, I always uh, mess up on the date. If I don't get the PS4 soon, it'll be on my birthday, which is in October. So, yeah, if you want, then, I mean, if you want to play with me, then I'll friend request you when I get it, um, which will probably be in October 2015, if you're watching this in, like, 16 or 17. Um, but, um, yeah, so let's get straight on to the video, shall we? of Jaguar MC, and in this video, I will be doing a tutorial on beacons. So here we got ourselves some items. Actually, let me switch myself to survival. I'm a flying one. Um, so here, um, I will be giving the beacons. Beacons are actually really interesting. It's one of my favorite blocks, so that's why I'm showing um, so, you can make beacons out of block of iron, block of gold, block of diamonds, or block of M. You also need a beacon to activate it, obviously. And you are going to need some diamonds, so uh, let's go ahead and take all of this. And so, first I'm going to be explaining the radius, and if you don't know what the radius means, this explains the f far, how far it go, um, how far the signal of the beacon. So if I place a beacon here and I select speed, put a diamond in there. As you can see, it will like give it'll give me speed, right? And it'll just keep on refilling after five. But if I go to here, if I go past this red block, which is 17 blocks away from the beacon, then it'll slowly start to oh wait. Oh maybe I counted wrong. So I guess 18. So, 18 blocks away, should, I don't know. Oh, I know it's wrong, um, but that be good. So, but anyway, 17 blocks away, it should stop, but I have other beacons powered. Um, so, 17 blocks away, it should stop powering if you only have one beacon that is level one beacon. Also, as you can see, I can only choose the ones up here. As you can see, I can't choose ones down here because I don't have level two. Four beacon. Um, so let's get on to level two beacon. So as you can see, this reaches out to 26 blocks. So that's a little improvement over 17. So basically, you can activate it. Um, but also now you get resistance and jump boost. So now you can use resistance or jump boost, and that will be better than the last one. So that's a big, a good reason. Right here we have a level three beacon, and that reaches out 37 blocks, which is definitely an improvement over the first one. A little improvement over this. One. So if I push it in here, now we get to unlock all of these. But as you can see, there's still one slot, and all that does is it just means that um, it'll reach out far, farther. That last slot. So I'll get to that one. Okay, so. Here, obviously, now we got strength, so pretty nice. So here is where the interesting. So right here, um, this is level four, and this reaches out 46 blocks. So that's this all the way around. So that is massive, if you think about it. So if you're doing PvP, you can give yourself like. If you're doing PvP with someone, instead of splashing each other with splash potions of like strength or jump boost or whatever, you can just give them it from here. And as long as you're inside 46 blocks, just make sure it's 46. Yeah, 46 blocks, then you can always have that. Um, so also, okay, so here's what I wanted to explain. When you have a beacon, you don't have to use just one block. And the blocks don't really matter it doesn't matter at all what you use so you can use diamond and it'll be the same exact beacon as the iron so um, so if you want instead of thinking you have to make a diamond beacon because it's the best you could really just make an iron which will be a lot easier uh, depending on whatever you have you should use or if you just want to look good then you can use diamond um, but over here 
Um, I want to explain. So, you can stack only certain items on top of beacons. Um, because if you stack like full blocks, if you stack like full blocks like this, if you stack things like this on top of the beacon, um, then that means that you won't be able to. That means that the signal won't be able to go. And if you want to know how, if it's working or not, then um, if you have the beacon beam, that tells you if it's working or not. Um, so here are the blocks that you can put on top. We have uh, zombie head, anvil, enchanting table, brewing stand, chest, ender chest, cauldron. What is it? End frame and ender. Or, I mean, eye of ender. Also, stained glass. And what stained glass do does? So, if I turn myself into creative real quick, if I get myself some like let's say green, I can put this on top and it'll blend in. So I can do that, or I can just do. Uh, Oops, I just broke it, but, or I can just do this and it'll make like green. So that's a really nice feature, which I love about beacons. Yeah, it's great. It's really good uh, for, you know, activating stuff. So if you're ever wondering, if you ever want to, let's say, activate it at certain times and deactivate it, what you can do is put, um, you can make it go out one from the top put a piston down, put a lever behind it, and, wait, actually, no, uh, make it two blocks out, a piston, a block of whatever that goes in the corner, and it has to be on the top layer, and you put a lever behind, so as you can see, it's not going on, but if I press this piston, it should go on, you see? Bring it back, turns off, bring it back, it should turn on. Yep, there we go. Um, so that's just a little way of turning off and on. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you like it, if you if this helped you at all, uh, make sure to slap that like button, slap it like a boss. And if you would like more, subscribe. And if you really like this, then share it with your friend because that always helps out the channel. Um, but yeah, I am Jaguar, and I hope you enjoyed. See you later. And goodbye, fellow crafters. Bye.